Good day, I am Ira Lopez of BSN23 and today I will be performing the return demonstration for the procedure of phototherapy. So the for the uh, purpose, it is the application of fluorescent light into the infant's exposed skin used to break down the bilirubin in the skin. So for the assessment, first you must uh, check for the yellowish discoloration in the infant's skin or sclera and uh, take note for the onset of discoloration. And then, uh, after that, uh, we also have to check the doctor's order to prevent errors. Then, check the uh, baby's bilirubin level every day or ask for the doctor's order because we have to take note uh, if the level is lower than normal or uh, less than 10 mg per deciliter. So we have to stop the therapy. The uh, normal value we have for a preterm infant is 10 to 12 uh, mg per deciliter and 0 to 3 mg per deciliter in a corn blood. We also have to uh, check the weight of the infant once daily while the phototherapy is going on and monitor the urine and stool output of the baby and take note for the color of it. Also, we have to check for the side effects of the phototherapy, which is the uh, transient skin rashes, bronze baby syndrome, loose greenish stool, and increased metabolic rate. After that, uh, we will now move on to the planning. So first, we have to uh, prepare the consent form to be signed by the parent or guardian of the infant. And then we will prepare the and daughter the needed materials such as the clean gloves, diaper, um, eye patch, and the setup incubator. So we have to remember that the baby is turned every two hours after each feeding. And also we have to monitor for the uh, proper hydration of the infant and also the um, also to promote elimination and skin integrity and assess and adjust thermal regulation. We also have to uh, remember that the phototherapy cannot be uh, stopped or interrupted except for um, normal batting or diaper changes. We also have to instruct the parents not to put lotion or oils in the infant's skin because this can um, cause burn on the infant's skin. Moving on now to the procedure or implementation, first we will uh, perform hand hygiene, wear gloves, and other infection control measures. After that, we will now undress the infant and um, put on the diaper. So after that, we will now place the infant into the fiber optic pad. And then we will place the um, eye patch. After that, uh, We will now apply the or place the fiber optic pad into a new disposable cover. Then we will secure the cover with the tape or ask for the manufacturer's recommendation. So assuming that we have already done that, we will now connect the power cord, uh, power cord into the light source box, and then we will plug the uh, plug it into a power outlet. Uh, 
After that, we will place the light source box below the level of the infant, but close enough to the infant so that it will not be pulled out. So assuming that you have already done that, we will now turn on the variable intensity knob into the light source box. And then, uh, we have to turn it into the high setting and then we will turn on the light. So now that we are done, we will now remove our gloves. Dispose properly and do hand hygiene to prevent the spread of microorganisms. Then the last procedure that we must do is the documentation. So uh, we have to document for all of the assessment data, the procedure and uh, the nursing care done to the infant start because this will serve as a legal basis for further management. So that concludes my return demonstration for this procedure. Thank you.